time passes and cities develop and change. This short series sets out to explore some of the lost monuments and buildings of Nottingham. Those items that exist only in the memory of the past by a few faded photographs. One such monument is the Walter Fountain, which was situated at the junction of Greyfriar Gate, Lister Gate and Carrington Street. Designed by Richard Sutton, it was commissioned in the memory of Mr John Walter MP. John Walter originally ran and edited the Times newspaper, having taken over from his father, also called John Walter. His interest in politics was so great that he became a Conservative MP for Nottingham in 1847, holding his seat for 10 years. And it was his son again, John, also a Conservative MP, who paid for the Walter Fountain to be built in memory of his late father at a cost of £1,000, which is equivalent to around £100,000 in today's money. His foundation stone was laid in 1865, and the Walter Fountain was opened on the 3rd of July 1866 with great pomp and circumstance, along with a handing out of the Adam's Ale from the fountain and backed by a violent thunderstorm. The Walter Fountain was a Gothic structure standing 40 feet tall, made from Aberdeen granite and inset with marble plaques with inscriptions. However, the fountain itself had an unfortunate history. In 1916, it was damaged when a Zeppelin raid killed three and injured 11 people. On the 27th of July 1939, 73-year-old Snenton man William George Bradbury of Hawkridge Street was sitting on the steps of the fountain when the poles of a speeding trolley bus hit it, causing a lump of masonry to fall 20 feet, hitting Mr Bradbury on the head, causing fatal injuries. In September 1950, more masonry fell from the structure and it was demolished not long after when the road was widened. Interestingly though, the following relics were found when the Walter Fountain was demolished. They were a glass jar containing copies of the local newspapers, coins, documents and pieces of Nottingham lace from 1860s. It is a shame in the end that the Walter Fountain was demolished when you consider that eventually the area in which it stood would become pedestrianised again, although I'm sure the town planners of the time would have removed it anyway as it was not in keeping with the new concrete structures which formed part of the redevelopment.